people i wanted to do a flip today of my personal rings it's been a super long time since i've done a flip of my rings and i just did my weeks uh so i thought it's time to do my personal rings before i change out for september because i'm actually going to try a different size for september and see how that goes so uh to start off this is a moterm planner uh personal rings it's the personal lux rings meaning uh, it's cut a little bit wider than the normal personal that they sell. It's got the back pocket and it's got 30 millimeter rings. And so I really like these Moterms simply for the fact that they're reasonably priced. Um, they have a ton of pockets. So I do love the double snap too. I'm a huge fan. And even though I have this pretty stuffed, I still am using, you know, the one that keeps it the smallest. I, I haven't had to resort to going out to this one yet. So I've got an Ollie clip here on the front. Um, here, I'm going to show you my little clips first, I guess. So I think these are all from Lucy Plans Life. I know for sure the rainbow is. I love the rainbow with the little, I don't know, I just love the color scheme and the fact that there's little dots on this <laughs> This one band here and then I've got my initials and then this cute little star so I typically only keep three charms on my planner like I have one for the month one for the week and one for the day okay so on the inside I don't have anything in the zipper pocket but as you can see Moterm gives you lots of pocket options you know, I've got the secretarial pocket that I keep some papers in. I've got a slip pocket here, and then there's a card pocket here. So in this slip pocket, I have this little journaling card from the Powder World. I've always loved this picture. So I have this in like so many different sizes. I think she's so cute. And then I have this little bunny. Um, this is, I think this is supposed to be a washi card, and this came in a happy scrappy kit. At some point, I can't remember where I got this pink card from. Um, and then I had bought this. This I think I've shown in another one of my flips. This cute little paper clip that looks like the Harry Potter glasses that I love. So moving on, um, I have some really pretty acetate uh, from the Crescent Planner. And I think almost all of my acetate comes from the Crescent Planner. I just, I love all her stuff. And then I keep the fly leaf. I really like the fact that Moterm puts a pen loop on their fly leaf. They also have um, card pockets on the back. So that it's so nice that they think of those details. So I just have a couple of little decorative items. And then I have a card with my personal information in here that's laminated and also um, an emergency contact card. So. Anyway, moving on, I've had this in my planner forever, so I don't remember where this comes from, but I have acetate layered over this dashboard. This little journaling card is from Coco Daisy, and I actually made this dashboard by downloading a picture from Pinterest and then using Canva to make the dashboard. So I kind of found a whole bunch of these pictures that I thought were really cool with old books and stuff in them. So. You'll see quite a few of those in my planner. Then I just put washi tape on the back so it just wasn't glaring white. And I have my um, section dividers printed out on linen paper, which is kind of feels kind of neat. My first uh, section is my inbox. And pretty much my inbox only consists of just sticky notes where I can jot stuff down. And right now, obviously, I don't have anything pressing jotted down on my 
sticky notes, so that's good. And more acetate from the Crescent Planner. So this is from Paper and Ink Printables. And let me tell you, if you're a shop owner, it is such a great thing for you to put your name here because, I mean, it's solid enough, it doesn't bother me, but when you start getting so many files and so many printables, it's hard to remember where you got what. So um, that I appreciate that a lot. So 10 tips for better living. I have no idea where I got that. Here's another dashboard. And we're to my calendar. So I've been marking off the months with these cute little rainbow stickers and it looks like I need to get August put in here. Um, so I will have to do that. And here's more acetate from the Crescent Planner that's got these uh, birds in gold foil. And then I have no idea where I got this beautiful floral, but I think this is a freebie from somebody. This fold-out insert is from DOAA Inspiring Designs, and I just super love it. Um, I've got my little key up here, so vacations, paydays, and weekends that I have to work. So I've got these cute little dot stickers. And so, yeah, I really like that. It worked out great. Scheduled. I got this planner enthusiast and this is another one where there's no name on it. So I have no idea who I bought it from. And here's some 2021 acetate. And this is paper and ink printables again. And I printed it on this kind of uh, pearlescent paper. So I don't know if you can even tell, but it almost, yeah, has like this pearl sheen to it. And then never be afraid of change. Random thing that I have no idea where I got. And another dashboard. And that brings me to my monthly section. So um, I have these clipped together that are already passed. I have not put September in here yet because I'm going to, use a different planner and it's gonna be a different size so I will tell you these monthly inserts came from creative tidbits and I do like these because they have um, if you ask her she'll put a grid on top of something for you so these are don't really usually come with a grid but if you contact her she will put a grid on there for you and I don't like my handwriting if I don't have some kind of uh, grid or dots or something to keep me <laughs> writing straight. So August is gone. And as I said, I did, haven't done September because I am going to be moving to a different planner to try it out. I don't know if I'll be back to personal. I suspect I might. We'll see how it goes. So I'll put this cute little coffee clip back. Um, and we can skip ahead to another dashboard I put on some pearl, pearlescent paper. In anger, we should refrain from both speech and action. Uh, another dashboard, which I think is super, super pretty. I just love this paper on here and the writing. And that brings us to weekly. So I have been using kind of the same style now for a long time uh, for my weekly printouts. And these are from Perfectionism Prints. They're a printable and these are perfect. So I did, they're usually not, you know, colored like this. I just bought some, you know, I went on Etsy and bought some I don't know what you'd call it, backgrounds or wallpaper or whatever. And I printed over the top of these um, before I cut them out. And I thought it looked kind of cool. I had gotten it into my head that I was gonna make coffee stained paper. Then I realized how much work it was gonna be. 
So I was like, screw it. I'm just going to buy some coffee stained wallpaper. And so that's how I ended up with this. And then I experimented a little bit more and ended up with this one. You know, there's a nice subtle pattern here. Um, and this one, the pattern isn't as subtle as I would like it. So I thought it looked a little busy, but it's still pretty. And then I just kind of was over that idea. So this is kind of how I've been doing my weeks now. Pretty much the same. Oh, I taped these together. Okay. So this insert from Perfectionism Prints, I really like. And I had bought the same thing pretty much from um, Creative Tidbits. And so I thought these look really cool, but when I started using them, I discovered the grid is just a little bit too small for my liking. So like on the monthly calendar, it really doesn't matter because you have to write tiny anyway to get into these squares. But I found I had to write a little smaller than I wanted to with this size grid. If the grid was a little bigger, these would be perfect. So <clears throat> I'll probably go back to Perfectionism Prints Plus these little squares that I buy from Paper Panda. They fit perfectly on these lines. Let me see if I can find one that has the squares. Yeah, right here. So of course now you can't see the lines because I printed over the top of this insert, but the, the lines make spaces that are exactly the right size for these squares. So I really like that. So these are really nice. I would recommend uh, if you have small handwriting, Creative Tidbits is a great place to get your inserts. Um, but I would probably go back, if I was staying in personal, I would go back to these Perfectionism prints. And as a matter of fact, my new size I'm going to try out, I'd probably just try using this insert in the new size. So anyway, this was my spreads for the last couple months. So, and then I kind of stop there because I'm going to try out a different size. We are all in this together. So that came from, ugh, I have no idea. And this is from Powder World and I just totally love this lady and she, this I haven't been able to find on the website anymore, so I don't think I'm going to be able to put her in my my new planner. Here's a dashboard. And got a couple of decorative pages. So I had stopped using my daily insert and because it was really frustrating for me that sometimes I needed no daily insert. Sometimes I needed like two pages, you know. So I just kind of went with this grid paper and would use as much as I needed and just highlight with a Tombow the date so it stood out and I knew where one day ended and one day started. And that worked out really, really good for me. So I was really happy with that. Except when, when I went on vacation, I just kind of stopped. Of course, I didn't need anything on vacation. And when I came back from vacation, I started grabbing my weeks and taking that to work. So now I've got all these little random notes all over the place. I got to try to find them and get them together and put them in here because they're scattered everywhere. So I've got some extra paper here for those dailies. And here's a nice dashboard. And this brings me to my notes section. And then I have like more phone numbers and work stuff and Jeep maintenance and student loan stuff, continuing education. So those are just kind of things that, just random things that I need to reference once in a while. And so that brings me to some more acetate layered over this really pretty um, vellum. And I was going to revamp my goals and projects section, but I haven't done it. So I think 
I've just kind of known I was going to switch planners and I didn't want to put too much work into this. So if I move back into personal size, I'll definitely work on that. So here's another layering of acetate over vellum projects. Ooh, ooh, I have these. So I have these really cool dividers. Was this the first one or the second one? Yeah, I should show you this one too. These are from the Crescent Planner as well. These are like this, I don't know, it's kind of plasticky, but it's thin and bendy. But she etches her little designs in there and I just really, really like them. So those are so cute. But I think I have them upside down. <sighs> Actually, I do, I have them upside down. That's so dumb. Oh well. <clears throat> so, and my projects. I have to, I just haven't found the right insert for projects. I'm just not happy with anything I've tried so far. So that's still a work in progress. My projects are another project, let's just say. Trackers, um, so I have some acetate over some vellum. And I was just putting my steps down. Doesn't look like I've recorded anything since May, so but I can just simply go into my um, health app on my iPhone and catch up. So some more freebie printables here. Another dashboard. That brings me to my list section. <sighs> oh, I love this. This is one of my favorite spots in my planner where I have this gold uh, floral acetate. And then underneath is this pretty dashboard. I just think that looks so nice. Okay, so that was supposed to be my 2021 planners and journals and like I'm only using maybe two of these. <laughs> uh, my Julio planners, which I'm down to like, uh, I think uh, three. Yeah, I mean, at one point I had like 12 or so. So I've sold almost all my Jillios. I have one Vanderspeck left. I have two Louis Vuitton MM agendas and one PM agenda. This is my books to read, which I have some more to add to that. I, I've been taking screenshots on my phone once in a while when I run across something that I wanna check out. So I have to go through my screenshots on my phone and add to my list. That's what I've actually gotten read, which I'm embarrassed because I spend more time on YouTube watching videos than reading it, unfortunately. That was my packing list for my vacation I took. Um, let's see. That's all I have in here, I think. And I have some more acetate. This came from Queen City Designs, this acetate. And this, I'm pretty sure this looks like sterling ink, but I can't guarantee it. Um, this is my finance section and, uh, I totally suck at this. So here's that, that girl again, the one that's same one that's up in this pocket in the journaling card. She's my favorite. These are from Brooklyn Grace. And so they're pretty simple. I just list them out and check them off. And I don't always even put, I mean, most of the time I don't even put an amount. I just want to know that they're paid. So here's more acetate from the Crescent Planner over this dashboard that I made in Canva. And so we're to the miscellaneous section. And this is from Cloth and Paper. This is from Sterling Ink. This is from Paper Minty Studio. And then I had to put a section in my planner for Paper Minty Studio because I have like so much of her washi that I was, I'd be looking at it and going, oh, that's really cute. I should buy that, but I think I already have it. As a matter of fact, I think I need to, I think there's more I need to put in here. I don't think this is all of it. So here's my Tombos that I have. Uh, here's the planner guide that has the different sizes. Um, digital declutter, which, yeah, I should read that. 
I've got this cute vellum with Baby Yoda on it. And then I've got this really nice pocket. I think this is from Catspresso Co. And it's one of these jelly pockets. And it's got this design on it that's very similar to, like, the stuff that I got from the Crescent Planner. So, you know, it's got the kind of florally looking stuff. And I got a page lister from Foxy Fix. And then I just have some miscellaneous stuff in the back. I got my pen loop here. I keep this stencil on me. When I don't have squares from Paper Panda, I just use this uh, for my squares. This is from um, Dear Lily Designs. Then I've got these, oh my gosh, why do I stick them in here? These duets from Planner Press. Let's see, maybe try it this way. And I've got this Starbucks card that basically is only in here to cut washi. And this is from, I'm sure this is from Planner Press. Oh yeah, it says right on there. Yeah, this is from Planner Press. Um, not sure where this came from, but I'm it might be from the same place I got that pink one in the front, but it's cute, so. And then I have this super cute little pocket, and this is from Hey Planner Girl. So you can see it's kind of this uh, same pattern that you see on the Louis Vuitton bags. I just can't bring myself to use them, but I want to carry them around with me forever. And these are the dot forms. So, yeah, I just never will use these, but she always sends these cute little pockets. She puts so much work into her, you know, her packaging. I just really like that. So, again, with the Moterm, you get a ton of pockets. So I have so many card pockets and two slip pockets and a secretarial pocket, which I've got some stickers back here. I need to, this is what I use to mark off my month in my yearly overview. Uh, I got a card from the Birmingham Pen Company where I have bought some ink and rickshaw bag works. So, I don't think I have anything in you know, it's weird. I really like to have a back pocket, and I a lot of times don't even have anything in there. But, oh well. Let's see. Where did this one come from? This must be from the month. Yep. I better stick that back on there. Anyway, uh, that is my personal ring. So you will have to stay tuned to see what I come up with for September. I probably will do a flip at the end of September and then kind of make a decision whether I'm going to stick with my new size or if I'm going to go back to personal. So it's hard because with when you have planners you like, if you switch sizes, you kind of feel like you're leaving them in the dust. So we'll see. Uh, but thanks for joining me and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.